teacher John's good and beautiful. Welcome back to class. Today is Thursday. So do you remember the schedule? Are we doing Our World? Or Everyone Speak? Do you see the mouth moving? That means we're doing Everyone Speak. Good. Do you remember what we did last time? We did page 52. We finished. And that means it's time to do page 53, so you already know the answers, right? You're going to cut and paste the answers to page 53. Yes and no. The answers from 52 will go to page 53, but there are two more blanks on page 53. So, you have seven answers for the six questions. Remember, number six had two answers, so we have seven answers. But, on page 53, there are nine blanks. That means there are two answers you don't know. So we're going to do it together. But first, we need to review. What were the answers about? England? Or Egypt? I think you remember the answers, but we're going to review the vocabulary first. Then we'll put the answers on 53, and then you're finished. And then it will be time for Friday. We don't like Friday. Ready? Let's start the review. Okay, let's review number one. It will be very easy. You already have the answers in your book. Page 52. Ready? Number one was Cairo, Egypt. Now, the only thing to review here is the way we say Cairo. Remember, in Chinese, that sounds like an L. English, it's an R. Say Cairo. And don't forget, in English, we say the city first and the country second. Cairo, Egypt. Taipei, Taiwan. Just like names. In English, we say the first name first and then the family name last. That's why my name is John Toilet. You don't call me Toilet John. But in Chinese, we say your family name first. It's a little different. And I forgot one thing when I wrote Cairo, Egypt. What did I forget? You know. A comma. We need a comma after the city, but before the country. Very easy. Let's move on to number two. What do you want to see in the city? You remember, it's not a triangle because it's 3D. What do we call the Great Pyramids? But we didn't write the Great Pyramids, so we don't need a capital P. We just need a lowercase p, the pyramids. And do you remember how many pyramids there are? Did I say there were three, four, five? No, there are six. Three big ones and three little ones. So, number two, the pyramids. Number three. This was the hard word to say. So we're going to say the basketball first. Remember, a ball is not a circle. A circle is not 3D. 3D is a sphere. I know that's very hard to say, but if you do it a hundred times, it'll get easier. Okay? 
And then, do you remember the thing that had the body of a lion and the face of a handsome boy? Sphinx. Number three was see the Sphinx. Now look, up here on top, I'm very bad. I forgot to make it a capital S. I'm sorry, I'm old. I'm a grandfather. But down here, I remembered it's a capital S. It's a name. Don't forget. Okay, let's erase and move on to number four. Number four is, what's another place in the city you want to see? We said the river. See the Nile River. Sorry, I had to write on the bottom. I wrote too big, so I didn't have any space, but that's okay. In your book, it's okay if you do it on the bottom. This one we don't care much about the river. Just remember it was very important a long time ago. Not a hundred years ago. Not even a thousand years ago. Wait, what year is it right now? It's 20... 21. So, 2,021 years ago? No, 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 no. Longer ago than that. 5,000 years ago, the Nile River was very, very important. But this is not 5,000 years ago, so we're going to move on. We have the Taipei River. We don't care about the Nile River. Okay, next one. Do you remember the dancing? You were dancing with some kind of body part. Was it elbow dancing? No. Ah, sorry. Was it leg dancing? Ear dancing? Is that a good ear? No. It was belly dancing. There's the belly button. Do you remember the belly dancing? Yes, it's a special dancing where you show your belly and you make it move left, right, up, down. It looks like the ocean, the way it moves. Number five. Watch belly dancers. Sorry, my E is a little ugly right here. That's okay. We're going very fast. We're not writing at this moment. Now let's go on to the last one. I already put it at the beginning of this video. It was ride a horse, a cat. Do cats come from Egypt? You already know the answer. Yes, they do. Ride a camel. and fight a mummy. Now please be careful when you say this and when you write this. Please don't write fight a camel and ride a mummy. Come on, are you going to fight a camel? You're gonna punch him in his hump? No. And the mummy, you're going to ride a mummy? What, you're going to sit on his shoulders? No, you don't ride a mummy. Don't be silly. Okay, it's time to do page 53. Okay, I have changed the colors so you know we are on a different page. We're going to use different colors of my pen, just so you can see the new answers and the old answers. So, 
We're going to use three different colors. First will be black. This is for the blank lines. Now this says answer one and answer one. Answer two. Answer three. Four. This blank has no number because it's part of number five. And then number six is right here. But there's another blank right here. And then it says comma two. So what are we going to do? Let's change the color to blue. These are your answers from Tuesday. It's going to be very easy. Number one, you just look at page 52. I want to visit Cairo, Egypt. Please write Cairo, Egypt for number one. And then we're going to do number two. I have to write very small, but you have more space. I want to go to the pyramids. You don't need a capital P because you didn't say the real name, the Great Pyramids. But if you do a capital P right here, that's okay because it is still the name. Number three, you remember the lion body with the handsome face? I, wa I also want to, I'm sorry, I want to see the Sphinx. Uh, sorry, my X is very ugly. Let me do that again. Oh, still ugly. I'm sorry. It's very hard to write on the computer. I want to see the Sphinx. Number four. Very long answer in a short space. So please write small. See the Nile. River. If you do it like this, it's okay. Or maybe you're good at writing small. Just don't write too small because I'm very old and my eyes are bad. I have grandfather eyes. Number five. Very easy. I want to watch belly dancers. There. Then, here comes the new answer. We're changing to red. Okay? It says, there are other exciting things to do in blank. Ready? You're going to write Cairo. C-A-I-R-O. Don't write Egypt and don't write Cairo, Egypt. Just write Cairo. Are you finished writing? If you're not finished, just stop the video and then you can write. I'm going to erase... And now let's go back to number six. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong color. I need to change back to black. Number six was over here on the right side. And then there was another blank under it. And then it says, and. And we have another number six. Remember, there were two answers for number six. 
And then we have one more blank down here with no number. So let's go back to blue. Number six, two answers. The first answer, eh, sorry, the first answer was ride a cat. C-A-T or camel. And fight a mummy. Remember, you don't fight a camel and you don't ride a mummy. Don't be crazy. Now, let's change the color to red because this is our new answer down here. We have another blank. It says, I really hope to visit blank someday. Well, the last time we wrote Cairo, so this time we're going to write Egypt. Don't forget capital E. Are we finished? Good. Okay, we are finished doing page 53, but you don't have a red check because you didn't see the magic pen. I can do that later when we're back in school, but right now we need to practice page 53 because you know you have to recite. But you're not ready to recite yet. So first, we're going to read. I read first, you read second. Copy me. I want to visit Cairo, Egypt. I want to go to the pyramids. I want to see the Sphinx there. I will also want to go to the Nile River. I'm sorry, I also want to see the Nile River. I want to watch belly dancers there. There are other exciting things to do in Cairo too. I want to ride a camel and fight a mummy. I really hope to visit Egypt someday. The book is closed. Now, do you remember? Probably not because you have not practiced for the oral test. So, let's see if I can do it because I have the big brain, the super brain, the mega brain. Do you remember mega mind? Ready? I forgot the first word. Okay, no more cheating. The book is closed. I want to visit Cairo, Egypt. I want to go to the pyramids. I want to see the Sphinx there. I want, also want to go to the Nile River. I want to watch belly dancers there. There are other exciting things to do in Cairo. I want to ride a mummy and fight a camel. I really hope to visit Egypt someday. Did I do a good job? Yes. Because of the big brain? The big elephant brain? Yes. Extremely smart. Now. You cannot do it all, I understand, but if you read one time, twice, three, four, five times, yes, if you read it five, six, seven times, and say it out loud, then you will remember, and then you can do it just like me. Okay, this is the end of class. See you tomorrow on Friday. But we're not sad because today's Thursday, and we love Thursdays. Bye-bye. We like homework. 
not video game.